What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And for today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you what events uh, will take place uh, today and uh, in upcoming couple of days and what uh, should we expect from these events. On top of that, uh, I will show you how tight the relationships uh, in between uh, top management uh, of uh, authorities and other companies that potentially might be involved uh, in the illegal activity on the market. And before we dive deep into all of this, uh, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. And uh, drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for the community. On top of that, guys, if you have any questions uh, regarding uh, the events that might take place uh, in upcoming days and weeks, or you have any other questions that might be useful for the community, you can also uh, ask these questions in the description below. So, and uh, let's uh, start uh, with the news itself. Uh, I made a video a couple of days ago regarding the upcoming events that uh, might be important for our community. And I have to say that uh, we have uh, the first deadline that will happen today. And by the time this video is published, the meeting will have uh, already taken place. And uh, I'm talking about this meeting that uh, uh, is scheduled uh, for today's uh, session for today for 8 uh, a.m. Eastern time. And it is a Securities Enforcement Forum 2023. And uh, here you can see the attendees of uh, this forum. Chair Gara Gensler, Division of Enforcement Director Gubir Grewal and uh, senior SEC staff will participate uh, in the Securities Enforcement Forum 2023. And uh, you can uh, also uh, see a live stream uh, of Gara Gensler's remark and uh, Q&A sessions uh, with him. So, why it is so important for us? Let me show you that uh, Mark Basile will also be on this uh, meeting. And uh, he wrote this just yesterday. He said, Tomorrow I'll be attending the SEC Securities Enforcement event in DC. I expect to, make, uh, to meet with several high-ranking agency officials uh, to discuss market issues, plug-in retail investors and the public markets. I also expect to see a few community members while I am I'm there. If you will be in uh, District Columbia tomorrow, DM me to see if we can arrange to meet. And I think uh, it is very important uh, for our community to have uh, this uh, type of person uh, who will attend uh, this meeting because uh, he knows a lot about our case and uh, he can ask uh, some uh, questions so that might be very helpful for his lawsuits and for uh, our community in order to solve for our major problem of illegal U3 halt of MMTLP stock and that uh, is... Uh, transferring to the short positions, illegal short position in next bridge hydrocarbon shares. So, we just have to wait and definitely I will do an update regarding the results. And let me show you another quite interesting detail. Rare DD posted, he basically reposted this uh, tweet that was originally made by Sam O. And uh, Sam also uh, refers to the tweet, uh, uh, which uh, you can see Garen Gensler is answering the questions. And uh, Sam O wrote, Hey Finra, this is the, the moment Gar Gensler threw you under the bulldozer. What's your next move, Finra? Start blowing that uh, whistle now. And uh, I have to say that uh, on this video you can see Gar Gensler and he is trying to answer some tricky questions. But the main idea of uh, this particular part of uh, his interview is uh, that uh, he don't know why Finra issued this U3 halt and basically it is up to Finra to decide uh, whether this U3 halt is necessary or not. And uh, that is uh, how he basically uh, threw the FINRA under the bus and uh, I think uh, he want to avoid uh, the responsibility for this uh, action. So, and uh, let me show you another quite interesting detail. Uh, I made a video uh, again just a couple of uh, days ago where I've told you about uh, the fine. Uh, that SEC charges uh, against Goldman Sachs and this fine wasn't uh, the highest one. Let me quote to this again. The Securities and Exchange Commission today announced settle, settled charges uh, against uh, Goldman Sachs for failing to provide complete and accurate securities trading information known as blue sheet data to the SEC. Goldman agreed to pay a $6 million penalty to resolve for the SEC charges. 
And uh, according uh, to the SEC's order, over a period of approximately 10 years, Goldman made more than 22,000 deficient blue sheet submissions to the SEC. The order finds that uh, as a result of 43 different types of errors, these submissions contained missing or inaccurate data for at least 163 million transactions. The order further finds that Goldman lacked uh, adequate processes to verify the accuracy of uh, its electronic blue sheet submissions. And guys, 163 million transactions. And if you divide this number by $6 million, you will have for that each and every transaction uh, was fined uh, for just 3.6 cents. Yes, you heard me right. 3.6 cents. It is less than commission of uh, average uh, uh, broker dealer uh, that charges you for making these uh, deals. And uh, it is uh, nothing more than just... Uh, I, I, cannot, I cannot say anything regarding this fine. And a lot of people uh, asked me why they charge so inadequate uh, amount of money. And let me show you this. Here is uh, the uh, biography of uh, Chairman Gary Gensler. We are on official sec.gov website. And here you can see the paragraph. Prior to his public service, Gensler worked and at Goldman Sachs, where he became a partner in the mergers and acquisition department. Headed uh, the firm's media group, led uh, fixed income and uh, currency trading in Asia, and was uh, co-head of finance, responsible for the firm's worldwide uh, controllers and treasury efforts. And uh, it is just one paragraph uh, that doesn't tell you a lot of information. But let me show you this. Here is uh, the uh, chart uh, of Gary Gensler employment history. And here you can see the biggest, uh, the biggest... Uh, period for his entire career that uh, he was in Goldman Sachs. And let me show you that he worked uh, for almost 20 years from 1979 to 1997. And uh, I think uh, he made a lot of connections uh, with Goldman Sachs. And uh, that is why potentially uh, this might be the result of this uh, so ridiculous fine. And uh, again, a lot of people also told me that uh, uh, he, he worked uh, for Goldman Sachs uh, a very long time ago. But let me show you this. We are on official uh, goldmansachs.com website. And here is uh, their executive officers. And uh, here you can see that a lot of people who are the C-levels executive of Goldman Sachs, they worked uh, during the times uh, where Ga when Gary Gensler was uh, working there as well. For example, Brian Lee, if you take a look uh, where he started his career with Goldman Sachs, you can see that uh, he joined Goldman Sachs in 1994. Next one. Uh, let me show you, for example, this lady. And uh, she uh, started to work... Uh, she, jo she started to work uh, in uh, financial finance division of Goldman Sachs in 1996. So she also worked during the times when when Gary Gensler was uh, also an employee of Goldman Sachs. And I have to say that uh, there are several of people, including chief financial officer and executive vice president, who worked at that times. On top of that, guys, uh, other people, I have to say that five out of uh, nine people, they started their career with Goldman Sachs later than 1997. But can you imagine that Gary Gensler doesn't know these people? Basically, as for me, I cannot uh, imagine this. And uh, that is why it is the potential uh, evidence of uh, these extremely low fines for Goldman Sachs. So, and uh, I think uh, we have uh, to solve uh, this problem in general. And to do so, definitely, we have to push our case forward. And to do it, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap